Katarina is one of the most difficult mid lane champions. She has great solo carry potential and can be the deciding factor in the game. In the current meta, she's not a popular pick, but there are still many main players who can carry even the most challenging games, like Arkei, who went 1v3 without even being fed. It looks like teammates have already given up after the enemies completely wiped the entire blue squad. Evels shows why you should always believe in comebacks, even if the enemies are far ahead and your base is almost open. Throwing is one of the most common moments in League of Legends, because as you can see, after this defense, the blue side has more than 30 seconds to claim the Baron buff. Metro doesn't want to waste more time in this game. It's not that he's bored, but Jax from his team started having connection problems, disconnecting over and over, and this game might continue as a 4v5. That's why the best option is to take as much as they can while Katarina is fed, because if the enemies get to the late game, it will be much harder. <laughs> Wundru is definitely one of the top Katarina players in the world. Imagine the enemy's happy faces after seeing that Katarina is on very low health and probably won't be able to do anything in this fight. As it turns out, killing Briard gave him a level up, and he went all in once again. This is a great example of why you should not underestimate Katarina's power, even if your team is far ahead. It's another moment where the entire blue side was taken down, but as always, it was not enough, and instead of taking the mid lane turret and inhibitor, most of the enemies went to claim gold from Katarina, which was a huge mistake. Conqueror is a very versatile and consistent keystone for Katarina. It can be used on bruiser builds, full AP builds, and hybrid builds. This time, you can notice that after Wundru's engage, the enemies wasted everything they had to take him down. They almost made it, but takedown saved his life. I 
Any crowd control can make Katarina really weak if the enemy knows when and how to use it. This time, Ozer made a risky teleport to help his teammates, but it turned out they didn't really want to fight, and the enemies were waiting for his arrival. He instantly used Hourglass because everyone used their crowd control spells on him. Katarina against a good Talon can be a really difficult matchup. Cratched already lost two fights, but he's not giving up and will try once again. This time, everything was perfectly calculated and planned, especially when he flashed out to dodge the last deadly hit and waited until Talon used his flash to dodge his hit again. Can you help me? Jesus, man! Why are you running? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it. Uy, te tiré la hostia. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to send me your clips using the link in the description. Have a great day, stay safe, and see you next time.